Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy and this is Let's Play on Buy Real Farm USA. So, um, I harvested, so I wanted to show you how much I got. I got 8,926.6 bushels of soybean. I got 52,559.8 bushels of corn. So this is what we're going to sell eventually. Um, pretty good. Hopefully... If we get a good price, we'll, this is about what we'll get for it. So it's good finally, and most of it, 257, we'll get this year. So we'll add that. Oh, where is it coming? Where is it over here? Sorry, here. No. Plus. I will be profit. Yay. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see where we end up. Um, I'll switch over to the game because I started. So here is the bags. Um, these are the soybeans. And these are the corn. I modded this, uh, the capacity of these. So these, because the ones I had was uh, 200,000 liters, which was like five six five thousand bushels or something which was kind of small for grain bags so i looked around i saw some real capacity of them and i went with the middle one so these hold eighteen thousand five hundred bushels each so those are full and this is not completely full but i think it's about fifteen thousand in this um which is more realistic they didn't go wild they thought they would be i don't know how to make them longer but they hold that. Um, this holds 8,000 something. Also changed the price of these so they were more realistic. So one of these cost about $1,250, which is uh, what it cost in real life. So, pretty good. Um, we, um, we're going to plant oil seed radish on our uh, actually we're going to change the fields around a bit because this one uh, is a good field good size field but the issue I have with it is that actually it's the rented field so it keeps disappearing every day every year and I keep missing it buying it so I'm going to end up so I'm going to take this away so that's minus 77 49 fine for um, I'm going to lease this instead and this so it will actually increase our land somewhat so let's skip that 62.8 yes we didn't have 62.8 so minus 62.8 plus 155 okay so um and we need actually we need to take we need some money uh, let's see Needs like uh, where is it? Here we go. So at least this, which is 190. We, we're gonna buy it and then pretend we're leasing. So 191, 473. 191, 473. 100, 191, 473. Um. We're leasing this, so that's um, put 1.88 hectares. Gonna switch over to our here. Let's go add these 502. Thank you. 
that. So um, so this one we removed and we replaced it with 103. We'll go with 103 first, which is which is will be 67, but not all is planted, so about 60. So 103. We got 60. We'll also add one field which will be 114 and uh, that was let's see 4188 4188 and that was pretty much everything um <laughs> These are what the fields we'll have now. Um, so 527 acres uh, planting. So let me just come back to the game and we'll get the last field here done. So that's 314 and 332. 314, 332, 314. So now we own these, um, or but in the game we're leasing them. So, so if we go to our Excel document here, uh, the leasing cost for these will be. Easy, eighty thousand five hundred. That was equal. That was nice. Round stump, round number. Um, and next year we'll plant, say, corn. These two, which would be equal. We have a lot of fallow, so I want more, more. We have quite a lot of fields which are fallow next year, so I wanted um, something more to plant on. Um, so if you look at say soybeans, well actually we'll see first we'll sum up the number of fields. So soybeans, these two, that'll be fallow, and we'll have these two, these two, this and this. So we'll see three hundred and ninety eight acres, which is less than this year, but more than here. So I was going to end up like 260 otherwise. And then soybeans would be these probably won't add up now since I changed the fields but um, so soybeans would be these two and these two. And uh, corn would be these two, this and this. That doesn't seem to add up, seems a lot. Equals, no. Some corn, these two, this and this. Oh yeah, get better. Uh, so these, this is what we'll plan next year, and we'll see how much money we get off it. It'll be interesting. So we had a good fifty-seven bushels, seventy-nine, hundred seventy-nine, ish, in our yield. So good, good yields, and a lot of stuff in here. So that's good. A lot of bushels. Very nice. Um, 
let's go back to our game because there's one more thing I want to show you in this episode and it's over get spawn into it here so this is our uh, yeah I managed to get this started so there you go It's actually kind of cool that it doesn't really move everything. I think that's really, really cool. And more realistic, if you have some sort of ripper, uh, you would... Um, this is how it would turn out. So, cool thing about it, little clouds here, or smoke, or whatever, the, whatever you want to call it. Um, but also that it doesn't clear the whole area up. It just leaves pulse areas where well it looks realistic more realistic in my point of view so I'm, I'm trying to calculate how much um, how much fertilizer it uses compared to regular and I think it's about half so I think one of these fields would be would it cost me about 600 600 uh, bucks or so to fertilize and, and here it's about 300 so to fill this these tanks up it cost seven thousand no so three thousand three hundred ish quite a lot of money to fill them up actually <laughs> I was like oh that's expensive I didn't 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 figure it would that be that expensive uh, doesn't go very fast though either but I think that's mostly because my tractor even though it's a big tractor it's sort of underpowered and it would need more power pull this faster or this limit how fast this can go this mod by the way is really amazing truck and uh, the tender is also a nursing truck is also nursing trailer sorry it's also nice but this um, ripper or whatever you want to call it is really cool get to the end here and then turn around it's not fastest things around but it covers quite a lot of acre acres when you're doing it so and I think it's so, I don't know if it's realistic if I look at videos of people doing anhydrous ammonia it seems to be they seem to be going faster, but they have better tractors, I believe. I can put it to it doesn't go over four miles per hour, so let's keep it at five. It says seven on the indication there. Look over it on, on the sideboard side thing here. Since seven miles power, I don't think it doesn't go seven. I don't think it goes seven. No, it doesn't. So we're gonna do these two fields, and then we're gonna do all the other fields. Uh, that field over there is gonna be in fallow, so we're not gonna do anything about that. Uh, we'll have plenty of stuff to do, especially that big field over there, which is humongous. Uh, but there will be quite a lot of fields in fallow this year so we'll end up doing this quite a bit use is about a gallon every five or six seconds I don't know if that's realistic I think it's pretty realistic it says 7 and 8 miles per hour, but my speed control is set to 4 miles per hour. I wonder why there's a difference. It says it runs at 7.9 miles per hour. Interesting, right? So 
So even though it's low, it does cover quite a lot of area because it's a pretty wide one. On the light, don't know why, but I could do that. Uh, so, Harvest was kind of boring, but it went pretty smoothly. Uh, I wanted to get this point. So, um, selling wise, we yes, we did last year, which was we sold off corn first the same year, so around here. So, around this year, we'll see where we end up. I want to be above 480 at least. Um, and then we'll sell off the soybeans over here. I did actually sell off my soybeans here, but the price was actually going down, so I didn't even get, I got like 14.70 for it. Figuring last year I got like 15.80, so a buck more, but I guess that's different from years. So I should have sold it a day earlier where I got like 15. I, it wasn't a huge amount, it would made a couple of thousands or a thousand or fifteen hundred euro dollars, so it would lower in income, but which sucked. We'll see. Maybe we'll make it up. Still had an okay income. Want to get paid because we need to reduce our debt. If we want to reduce it quite a lot. So if we check the map here, um, show you what this ends up looking like. So so it gets the fer one level of fertilization. Wish it was slightly more, but it's one. And one is better than nothing. And it's a lot cheaper than fertilizing it in another way. Oh, maybe if you do oil seed radish, but that's job. Well, we could do oil seed radish too. So the interesting thing about this is it actually binds the water in the ground, so you you can't do this when it's too wet or too little wetness either. It needs to be pretty good moisture in the soil to be able to do this. I'm just cutting oil oh, rest probably too. Oh, I'm gonna mess that up. Uh, of course. Oh, I like it. It's too late. I knew I was going to mess it up somehow, and I did. Come on. So I wish I could, this is slightly too wide for, there's always a little bit there where I sure I miss this, wish I miss. Yes, it's okay, I can't cover everything. And I, I, can't, I don't know how to get that little bit there, anyway. We'll spread fertilizer on eventually, so we'll get it. We could, of course, just move the tractor slightly over here and get some more of it. Like so. Leave a little spot there, a little on that side. I guess that's a problem with such a wide implement. I will, you will miss spots. That it's hard to do anything about that. Unfortunately, it is the way it is. I'm hopefully I'm trying to reduce the uh, 
money we spent on fertilizer L this year so far we spent six 26 grand on fertilizer it's quite a lot but you know, i mean well, it's, it is quite a lot mostly we want to start repaying our debt we need to reduce our debt this year or next year which will be possible i think um, thinking it will be possible to do that um, because we'll have a pretty substantial income which is good um, and then we'll go into year four we'll see if we contract at the um, selling of the corn out or something or I think we can do the soybeans ourselves, but the coin is a lot of it. Was it was like 55,000 bushels. It's a lot of corn to haul. haul. And we don't have a semi truck. So either we need to get a semi truck or we need to contract that out. So I looked around online what it would cost to contract it. And it will be a little bit per bushel, but which will reduce our profit somewhat, but it won't be. It will be a little bit, so we'll see where we end up. So after this, we'll go over to I think the new field we have over there, hundred and three. We'll do that one. Then we'll just move, continue around until we cut all the fields we need for next year's harvest. So we won't do this on the fields we where we're not going to plant anything. We'll do this on the fields we we have. For next year. What I would like to do is do this, and then I would like to plant all seed radish on this, but I'm not sure it will actually be possible because um, time is sort of running out. I think in real life you would have to leave this this field a bit uh, before. I don't think you would plant on a field you do run and hydrous ammonia on it. You probably leave it for a bit. field actually I'm gonna go to one of the biggest field, bigger fields over here it looks kind of cool I think it looks cool with the semi sort of cultivated part of it so it doesn't cultivate everything I think that actually looks more realistic that's a really cool thing, clever thing with this, this mod.
So we'll do this field left here, which was planted with corn. No, actually, yeah, so. I think these over here were planted with soybeans, so these are going to be in fallow. I was actually looking into having multi-terrain angle set on this map, which is something where you see there, this actually follows the, the path of the implement, and but it seems like it was already a setup here, so that's good, I guess. suck at this. Well, if I do it from the outside it's pretty okay. <laughs> if I try to do this from the inside it's a whole different matter, a different story. So I don't know how much fertilizer we'll use. I'm thinking though that this will be about half the cost. That's one of the biggest reasons why the farmers use this, I believe, is the cost. It's much cheaper to fertilize this way, especially when it comes to nitrogen, which you might have. Well, you could put nitrogen down in solid form too, but this is a pretty good way of doing it. smaller Maybe around there Let's see if this ends up good oh, that looks good we'll set this up Looks good on the side there. Right, good. So we are fertilizing with anhydrous ammonia, which I'm probably pronouncing quite dis horribly. So these fields will be in fallow. These will be planted. Planted. Fallow, I believe. Fallow, fallow. Planted. Fallow. Planted. Oh, we need to, well, that's so we need to do and he does this one this one this one this one and oh, that was those so it's not a ton of fields we need to do this because it takes some time to do so that's good um, I still take it will still take quite a bit of time to do this because it's not going very fast, is it? I'll do this turn pretty smoothly. Don't want to drive too far on neighbor's ground, which I'm doing in a way, so. Okay. 
Ignore that. And continue. Okay, so this is pretty much what I'm going to do for a while. This one. But actually, now I'm going to go and pause this video, start uploading it, and then I'm going to go wake up my kids because they need to go to school, and I'm recording this before school. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Andy. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Leave a comment. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. And I will see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.